Hello. <clears throat> well, if uh, you're visiting the site for the first time, this is one of the first uh, philosophy videos that I'm going to put up, and philosophy is probably a very loose term uh, when it comes to this video, because I uh, basically just want to chat for a minute and explain to you what the channel is going to be about, what my goals are for the channel, and um, basically get started, because uh, I've been working on and uh, not working on having an idea for this channel and this blog for too long, a couple of years at least, and uh, it's time to just get it going. So uh, this is rough, as bad photography, probably not great audio, but I there's no way to get started perfect, uh, so it's better to just get started. So um, this is partially prompted by uh, a lot of prompting lately by outside sources like uh, Lengthy Unithar, probably murdering that, but um, I'll put a link to his channel down below so that you know who I'm talking about. And uh, recently he, uh, for the second time that I've seen, posted a video encouraging people to get their voice out and get, get rolling and uh, not let excuses get in the way of not making videos because uh, we need more people out there uh, that are talking about ideas and talking about good ideas and good good economics, uh, good politics, good um, philosophy, good ideas. So uh, I wanted to add my two cents to that. And uh, ironically then I come back, you know, I see that video on Saturday that come back to work Monday morning and uh, open up the laissez-faire blog, uh, the laissez-faire book club blog, and uh, Jeffrey Tucker is talking about uh, living your life with freedom in an unfree world, basically. And, uh, you know, he talks a little bit about there about how uh, one person can't make a difference with the state. And in a, in a fundamental and immediate way, he's right. One person... You know, I mean, we're completely impotent for for one person to do anything about the oppression of the state is a ridiculous notion. But um, one person can share ideas, and one person can bring other people on board with good ideas, and um, before you know it, you've got a chorus. And so it kind of gets back to what uh, Lengthy Unithar was talking about, about um, you know adding your voice to that chorus. And uh, so I want to make a difference. And I uh, would like to get to know more people out there in the internets and uh, see if we can get together and come up with some good ideas of, of our own. So uh, this channel is going to be pretty eclectic. Uh, I've got a lot of different interests and uh, experiences and I've always had a problem being locked into one thing. I mean this is probably what brought me to love libertarianism and freedom and, and that kind of thinking to begin with is that uh, I'm just wired that way. I cannot stand to do the same thing every day for the rest of my life. Even if you had the dream job, you know, if I could be a rock star or whatever, uh, you know, a famous actor or, you know, whatever the stupid dream is that you might have. Um, not stupid, but, you know what I'm saying, uh, the most outlandish, most luxurious lifestyle you could imagine, I still wouldn't want to do the same thing forever. I just couldn't stand it. Uh, you know, I'd get bored with it within a year or two, probably, or less. So... It's just the way I am. It's the way I'm wired. I like to shift gears and just continue to change. So I have a ton of different interests. So in this channel, um, I'm going to be talking about all sorts of things and bringing basically all those various interests back down to the philosophy of freedom and liberty and individualism and, and that type of thing. So... Uh, you know, I've, the last couple of years, I've recently taken up smoking cigars, so I would like to get into a little bit of cigar chat, um, fine bourbons and that kind of thing. Uh, 
but I also have a, an interest since uh, childhood of astronomy and cosmology and physics, and uh, so I wouldn't mind touching on a few of those, although I will admit that as I've gotten older, I feel like I've really fallen behind on that. I just haven't really devoted the study to it that I should have, uh, but it's not too late. So anyway, I'd like to explore some of those uh, things. I'm also very interested in some of the things Aubrey de Grey has to say, and yeah, he's really eccentric and maybe overly optimistic. I would probably safely say overly optimistic, but I've read his book rather than just surfing a few random YouTube videos uh, or newspaper clippings and, and making a snap judgment. I actually read his book, and... Um, he makes a lot of sense, and it, the book is really interesting. If you're into biology or aging or any uh, life extension type of ideas at all, I would highly recommend getting his book. Um, I'll put a link to it down below. Uh, I believe it's called Ending Aging, uh, but if I, I forget right now, so I'll, I'll put a link to it down below. Anyway, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of, of the varied topics that I'm going to touch on in this channel, uh, it's going to be all over the place. But, um, I, like I said, you know, it all kind of comes down to individual uh, preference and our ability to, to decide what those preferences are. Uh, so, as I continue to make videos, I would like to uh, keep bringing it home to the fact that we're born free, you know, we should be, and um, and we need to continue to put forth the idea that man should be free, and free to do what he wants, when he wants, and in whatever way he wants, as long as it's not infringing on the freedom of others. And uh, if we can live in cooperation like that with one another, then we would be so much further ahead than we are right now in every one of the things that I just talked about. I mean, in just from the simple pleasures in life uh, all the way to uh, our understanding of the universe and everything in between, uh, we would be further than we are right now if it weren't for the interference of those who are basically inflicting force on us. So, you know, we talk about the state this, the state that, governments this, the government that. You know, all that is is just individuals inflicting force on other people. I mean, that's all that the state really is. It's easy to get caught up in the terminology of the state and uh, and references uh, reference it as a thing, but it's not. It's just a group of individuals. It's just one individual inflicting force on another individual, and they're you know, in cooperation with other people. So you have large groups of individuals inflicting force on large groups of other individuals. And we have to remember that that's all this is. I mean, if you're anti-state or, you know, a narco-capitalist or libertarian, all of the above and or, uh, you are not against... Not against the state. I mean, you're against the use of force of those individuals on other people. Just like any rational person would be, quote unquote, against uh, somebody committing murder or, or rape. You know, any rational person can understand that, that that's wrong. Um, but you put these false labels on it, like the state or the government or whatever, and all of a sudden murder or rape is acceptable. You know, I mean, people joke about rape in prison or whatever. Well, that's all prompted by the state institution. I mean, that would not happen if it weren't for, quote unquote, the state, which is, again, not a real thing. It's just individuals inflicting force on other individuals. So anyway, I'd, uh, you know, this is I don't know if I'm going to um, uh just freewheel these videos like this one. This is really rough. Hopefully it's my worst video ever because I, I hope that I get better and better at it. <laughs> and this kind of sucks so far. But anyway, I hope I get better at um, being able to improvise at this uh, and stay a little bit more focused. But 
Uh, I'll probably uh, try some scripted videos and see how that goes. Um, but I don't want to stumble around too much on that either. So I don't know. I'm going to experiment with a lot of different things. I'd love to get your feedback. Uh, and as I, you know, check, check out my channel a few more times. Uh, if you're interested in any of the things I've mentioned so far, uh, or just want to see where this crazy train goes, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you on board. If you are a previous subscriber, uh, when this channel was mostly about CrossFit and fitness, uh, you know, I apologize for the drastic change, but <laughs> YouTube is really interesting. If you try to set up multiple YouTube channels, good luck with that, uh, and and keep your identity. I mean, it, you can set up multiple channels, but it requires you know whole separate Gmail accounts, etc. And um, I don't need another email. I have too many as it is, so. I tried to basically just uh, reinvent this channel. So if you're an old subscriber and you're getting this and you're uh, shaking your head, you don't want any part of it, I won't be offended if you leave. Uh, but I will probably touch on fitness and CrossFit and things like that from time to time. Uh, I own a CrossFit gym. It's where I am right now. I'm in my office in the gym uh, between sessions. And uh, it's a big part of my life, so I'm sure that will come up from time to time. So if you want to hang out and... Um, you know, see what you can take from the channel. Uh, hopefully you'll stay. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to get off here before it turns into a, a short 45-minute video. And um, see you soon, hopefully with more concise information, and uh, we'll put it together. All right, thanks for being here. Have a good one.